Hello folks, how are you doing? Welcome back. I'm doing well. A little bit hot, a little bit tired. I'm on another photography trip, photography adventure, this time in the Shropshire Hills. I've parked up near Church Stretton and Hope Bowdler, Hope Bowdler, I think it's called, Hope Hill. The plan is to walk up and over Hope Hill and around to Care Caradoc for sunset. Today I've given myself a bit of a photography challenge as a way of trying to improve my photography as someone who does 99% of their work in video. I've given myself the challenge of coming away on a shoot and just shooting one still image. One. As someone who tends to go out and shoot hundreds of images, it's a hell of a challenge. The reason is that I want to start being a bit more thoughtful about what I shoot. I want to plan it out a little bit more. I want to think more about the light, think more about the composition. And just generally try and get a little bit better at stills photography. Almost all of what I do is video. A lot of it's live video. So generally it's an event happening and you make the best of what you've got. What I want to try and do is plan it out a little bit more. So today I've planned my shot already. I know what I'm gonna do, ish, kind of. It's a shot from the top of Cair Caradoc, looking north over the Shropshire Hills, the Lawley out to the Reakin in Telford. I've done a recce on Google Earth and Apple Maps. I'm prepared. I'm gonna be on Cair Caradoc for sunset and take my shot. That's the plan, one image. I've got all my video gear with me, so I'm going to be making a nice fancy YouTube video, so stick around and take a load of video, but shooting one image. I was just thinking how bloody stupid it is to be carrying a big tripod for one image, but it is what it is. Right, this is the hill to Hope Bodler. Apparently there are some stones on the top called the Battle Stones. So we'll head up there and have a look. These aren't the battle stones. The battle stones are up that way, just along the ridge line. That's where we're going next. Down there is Church Stretton and the Lung Min just behind. You may have seen one of my old wild camping videos, which was up on the Lung Min with the kids. I think that's now been deleted, but it was up there Lung Min, Church Stretton, Hope Bowdler, and then Care Caradoc is over the far side. We're walking up to the battle stones there now. What do you all think about my baseball cap? Someone said something quite nasty about it recently. I'm not sure why. It's about five years old. I bought it for about five pound from China. Delivered, bargain. I've taken it all around the world on filming trips, probably 20 plus countries. It's a very fashionable cap. It even says on there somewhere, fashion. But the truth is, I'm not a fashion guru. If you've subscribed to my channel for the fashion tips, you've been mistaken. You should go somewhere else. There are lots of fashion gurus on YouTube. I'm not one of them. But in all seriousness, it's fine. It used to be brown. It's now a shade of white, getting whiter with every wash. There is ventilation in the front in a form of a small tear, and it does the job. Keep the sun out of your eyes. Baseball cap is essential on filming trips. 
Right, the battle stones are just up there behind me and you should be able to see Care Caradoc across the way. Beautiful view, cracking spot. Rumour has it they are called the Battle Stones because, um, try and get my story straight, a Welsh chieftain named Caradoc, which the mountain over there is named after, fought his final battle here against the Romans in about 49 AD, I think. So 2,000 years ago, the Welsh battled the Roman legions to take over this area. Pretty amazing. Hard to believe it was a battle zone 2,000 years ago because it's quite peaceful now. Right, I'm gonna find some shade, take a little break. It was a nice little rest. I'm full of energy, raring to go. I needed it. I did some heavy deadlifts this morning and my hamstrings are really feeling it now, walking up these hills. I've decided to take the route around the side of these couple of summits rather than go all the way over and then all the way back up Care Caradoc. I'm gonna go straight around the side and then I'm not sure if I want to go up the south side or the north side of Care Caradoc. I want to be on that north summit for sunset, I know. But for now, I'm just going to walk and see which route takes my fancy. The keen-eyed amongst you will have noticed that for the shots that I've done in the start of this YouTube video, where I'm walking towards the camera and walking away from the camera, I've had to walk ahead, put my camera down, walk back down the hill, and then walk up the hill again, double the effort. That's just what's involved in making these videos. I'm starting to put a little bit of effort into them. I'm enjoying making them. I feel like I want to make more, build a bit of an audience, get them viewed by a few more people. I really enjoy making them. I enjoy the community, people commenting on them, and when uh, discussions about locations and stuff start, it's really exciting, it's really good. I've started watching a lot more YouTube videos recently as well. Up until now, I sort of pretty much only watched fitness and weightlifting related stuff. I've started to include more photography videos, hiking and exploring, mountaineering. Those are my passions really. And I'm pretty much posting just on photography and hiking trips at the moment. There's gonna be loads of mountains in the future. As soon as Wales opens back up, they're still on lockdown over there weirdly because that's Wales probably 10 miles that way strangely but I'm not allowed to go there can't walk across that field but as soon as Wales opens up I'm going to be heading to Snowdonia I've got a few routes planned hiking wild camping photography it's going to be really good so subscribe if you haven't already like the video leave a comment and all that stuff I've been watching lots of new channels recently I've been having a bit of a hunt round bit of a look around to see to see what other people are doing as well in the photography world because it's something I've never really looked too much into and there's some really great channels out there really great there are the obvious ones which I kind of knew about already the big YouTube channels with hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers and they're all well and good but you know what I think I prefer the smaller channels the big channels are polished, they're, I don't know, I don't want to offend anyone, I don't want to say fake, but there's a bit of, I don't know if it is fake or not, but a faux flamboyance, faux personality, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but the big channels seem to 
have people who've got great personalities, really hyperactive, energetic approach to making videos. I don't have that, I'm far from that. I'm about as dull as dishwater. I have the flamboyance of a white bread sandwich. And I quite like watching people who don't have the massive social media following. Not to say you're all dull as dishwater like I am, but I um, found some great channels with like a couple of hundred, couple of thousand subscribers or whatever. They're really good, really interesting. And you get something different from what you do with the big channels. So I'm hoping mine gets a little bit bigger. I'm enjoying making them. I don't want to turn into one of these. I'm going to be me, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not going to have a fake flamboyance all of a sudden starting my videos with yo what's up guys or as I saw some um, <laughs> 40 odd year old grey haired Englishman say in his best uh, Peter McKinnon impersonation roll the intro I'm not going to start doing that I'm going to be me and I'm a little bit boring I'm a little bit dull I know a few things about photography, so stick around, you might learn something. But um, I'm not really selling it, am I? Subscribe. The message is subscribe, like, and comment. I'm going to be quiet because I think I'm scaring the lambs. Right. I'm going to put you away. Carry on up to Care Carry Dock. weather is absolutely beautiful today bright blue skies about 24 degrees I think a uh, little bit of cloud a little bit of cirrus cloud high up really thin I don't know if you can see that could lend itself towards a nice sunset usually I like a moody sky a bit of cloud a lot going on and it's always a bit of hit and miss to be honest I like a moody sky, but I hate the wind and rain. So, you can't have it all, can you? But it could be quite nice, high cloud, get some light under it. Hopefully it develops and just thickens up a little bit. It's quite thin. Sheep everywhere. Right, so this is the north side. I'm gonna get to that path there, swing a right, and then head up that way. There's a sheep there with a proper lockdown haircut. He hasn't had his haircut in oh, eight weeks, probably. Definitely needs the barbers to open back up. Right, I've just cut to about halfway up the north side of Care Caradoc, and the view of Shropshire Hills has just opened up. This is the shot that I wanted to get, looking out this way. How wonderful is that? We've got the Lawley just there to the left and the Reekin in the background. A few sheep milling around. They'll all be gone by the time I'm at the top of this summit and I'll try and bring some of the rocks into the foreground. That's the plan for the one shot. I'm feeling quite excited about it now. This is as flamboyant as I get. I've got a hard climb ahead of me now and I've got to try and find the cave. I'm not sure where that is. So I'm gonna have a look at my phone, Google Maps, and then uh, see you at the cave.
Right, so the way that I've come today is from way out there. Maybe you'll just see the battle stones in the far distance. Down this valley, and then up and around. Now, near the summit, I'm gonna walk around to the north side and try and find this cave. When I heard there was a cave, I was expecting something a little bit bigger than this, although it is quite interesting. Pote family. Congratulations, you found it, intentionally or not. What is this hidden container sitting here for? What the heck is this thing doing here? It's part of a worldwide game. GPS, global position system. If you found this something by accident, great. You are welcome to a free something. We ask only that you please do not remove this. Geocaching. Cool. And there's various notes and family names with dates when they got here. It's quite hard to find the cave. Right, I'll put that back. Mm. Right. Let's get out of here and do some photography. Right, check that out. This is going to be the view for sunset and my one shot. The Lawley to the north, that Whaleback Ridge, the countryside, the woodland, and the reeking in the far distance. The sunset itself is going to be in that direction, so out of frame. I'm not too worried about that. Instead, I'm going to be focusing on the shadows and the countryside. The weather is okay. That cirrus cloud has thickened up. It's also gone a little bit flat, unfortunately, but it could be worse. It's a beautiful day. The visibility has dropped, which means that there could be quite a lot of color on the horizon, so it might look all right. I'm not gonna stand here and wax lyrical about a composition. That's not my style. What I'm gonna do is go and explore this area. This is an old hill fort from that time with the Romans, 2000 years ago. This whole peak, the whole summit was a fort. There was lots of uh, trenches and bits that have been dug out. It's really quite interesting. So I'm gonna have a little exploration around here and just enjoy it. Since lockdown started, I've actually explored quite a few different places. I've been out and about, legally, of course, but with whales having their curve not flattening as quick as the rest of the country, um, I think that's the case. They're still on lockdown, so I'm not allowed to go there. So I would have been all over Snowdonia and North Wales by now with some time off work. Instead, I've been out in the Peak District, Worcestershire, Shropshire, and just enjoying some new places. How has it affected you? Let me know. Comment below. I sound like a proper YouTuber now. Pretty much am. I've got no work on anywhere else. All the sporting events have been cancelled. So I pretty much am a full-time YouTuber. How's about that? It's not going too well. They pay me about 10 pence per month. Right, I'm gonna enjoy this summit. I'll put some clips together, but otherwise I'm gonna see you at sunset for my one shot.
I've walked miles around this summit trying to find the perfect spot for sunset. I finally decided upon this. It's a shot of the rocks, the path leading down into the view that I wanted to get from the very start. It also includes the trench, this 2,000 year old Welsh English army fortification against the Roman legions, which just felt really fitting to include. So that's it. I'm not gonna wax lyrical about the composition as I told you before. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'll pop the image up on the screen. I'll say thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.